this is um, my reflection and the gospel reading and the gospel and the first readings of the 22nd Sunday of ordinary time. And the gospel is taken from the good news according to Luke chapter 14 verses 1, 7 to 14 and a little bit from the book of Sirach um, for the first reading. The first thought that comes to mind upon reading this gospel passage is that this is some kind of a lesson in etiquette and in social life relations. Jesus is telling his fellow dinner guests who to invite and who not to invite to their parties. Jesus is advising them on how to choose seats at tables so as to avoid embarrassments should they be asked to give up their seat to someone more important than them. The readings from Sirach and the Gospel points to two human tendencies that we might need to pay some attention to. It is human to want to choose the best of whatever for oneself. The best seat, the best place, the best food, the best whatever. It is also human to want to um, a safe circle of peoples around us, acquaintances, families, and friends. The message from our scripture readings today invite us to move on beyond these normal human tendencies to a different level of being and of relating. Jesus is very clear and explicit when he tells us not to choose the best seats at functions we are invited to, and who to invite or not invite to our parties. Relatives and friends, of course, but not just those who can return the favor. Jesus is encouraging us to break open our circles of relationships and reach out beyond and more specifically to all those who are left out or are in the margin of life. Those who are poor, those who are different, those socially alienated in any way. Jesus was challenging his listeners then, and he is challenging us today, now, to move beyond the safe circles of friends and acquaintances we tend to build for ourselves. Jesus is challenging us to be open to open up, to make room in our lives for those who may be different, those who are poor, those who are lonely, and those who are different of a different ethnicity, those whose religious affiliations are different from ours, etc., etc. Jesus is calling us to be servants of the common good, to seek and to work for the good of all to be others-oriented as opposed to being self-centered, self-seeking, and self-serving. Jesus is challenging us to seek and to reach out to those who are in the periphery of life, whatever that reality is, and especially those who cannot return us the favor. I believe this is at the very core of our calling as Christians and followers of Jesus. These are attitudes we need to learn, and these are attitudes we need to teach our children now, today. On a personal note, growing up in a large family, my family was a large one, were 13 plus four adopted kids, 17 in all, we were poor. Our parents were very hardworking and generous people. As children, we were taught to share and to give deference among ourselves and to do likewise with others. We were taught to give freely and to receive freely. My parents used to tell us that when someone gives you a gift or something, always be grateful, but do not try to repay back the favor. Let God take care of that. When you give gifts, they told us, give freely and do not expect return. This, to me, is the 
good news at the heart of what Jesus is telling us in the gospel today, that we reach out and give because we care, that we reach out and give because we love. As Christians, this is what we are called to do. Having lived 40 some years of my life here in Saipan, among the Chamorro and Carolinian people, this is my experience. Our people are very caring and generous. They give and they give from the heart and they do not expect return. And that's what we want to continue to do. Pope Francis is constantly calling us our attention to the poor, the suffering, and the marginalized people in our world. He is calling us to look to the periphery, to find and to recognize brothers and sisters, and to minister to them as we can. And elsewhere in the Gospel, Jesus tells us, whatever you do to the least of my brothers and sisters, you are doing to me. So. Let's let love, kindness, humility, generosity be the rules of our life. For we know that the only thing we will take with us when we die is what we gave away. Thank you.